Well, that Mortonsville race, I tell ya. Crazy turn of events. If you don't know what I'm talking about, today, guys, I have announced something that I will be reviewing every race every Sunday. Even though I haven't been done doing this much ever since every um, Sunday, but I will be doing it the rest of the year. So, guys, I am reviewing Martinsville. So, yeah, guys, it was a pretty entertaining race in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Um, You know, Kyle Busch, he took the checker flag, earns a spot in the championship four. He's my favorite driver, so, you know, we seem good. As And he's excited to go to the homestead. Ooh, well... First ever Martinsville night race, if I've ever seen one, like, I've seen, like, a lot of Martinsville races, guys, and, wow, um, that race, uh, it was something, so, and, Kyle Bush, you know, he earns a spot in the round, in the championship four, he's gonna probably race it for a cha second championship, and, um, so yeah, Brad Keselowski, he's been doing good pretty much the whole day. Um, he swept both stations. Sorry about that, guys. This is my dad calling. Anyways, um, so yeah, Brad Keselowski swept the both stage two stages, and um, now I had a couple picks to win today. Um, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, and Martin Truex Jr. Now, I have a friend over here, you probably know him, he's Johnny, he is a Chase Elliott fan, and yeah, um, Chase Elliott, he was leading most of the time with like a 40-something laps to go, I thought, I personally thought Chase was gonna win, until we got to the, uh, restart, so yeah, um, Carl Long, or apparently Joe, not Carl Long, but apparently Joey Logano, he had a tire rub from Kyle Busch, and uh, apparently he spun out, hit the wall, and uh, that changed everything. So I'm like, who's going to pit? Who's not going to pit? And then um, before we get into that, guys, I am not copying off of N2SC4's videos. Just so if you know N2SC4, go subscribe to him. I'm not... um. Copying off of video, so we get to the um, so we get to the green flag, you know. So then, um, uh, it was a battle for the lead. I mean, Chase Elliott, Brad Keselowski were battling out, and then coming into turn uh, three, Chase Elliott knocks Brad out of the way. And I honestly thought, when I was watching the race like a couple of hours ago, I honestly thought Chase was gonna win at that point until we got into turn three. That changed everything. So, if you don't know what happened, Chase Elliott got rear-ended uh, by Denny Hamlin. Bam spawn hit the wall, and Chase, uh, he wasn't very happy. So then, we go, we go into overtime, and I was actually, this actually was the first Martinsville night race. And you don't usually get to see a Martinsville night race. That's It's pretty cool to see one of those. So then, um, we go into overtime by like two lap. By like two laps to go, and then um, Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin were fine to the lead, and and then uh, Kyle, and then Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch were battling it out. You know, we get to the white flag. You know, they're shoving each other. Martin Tricks Jr. comes out of nowhere. Kyle Busch has the lead, knocks his teammate out of the way. I didn't think Kyle Busch meant to knock Denny Hamlin out of the way, just give him a little nudge. I didn't think it would. Knock him out that easily. But, you know, they're battling it out. Truex and... Truex has never won a short track. And then, um... We see the wreck behind us. And I'm like, oh my god, who caused the wreck? And apparently, Denny Hamlin... <sighs> smart of a guy he is. Goes down, trying to block Ryan Blaney. And then... Spins. <sighs> if you ask me, guys, that is the pretty... Most dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And Kyle Busch takes the checker flag. I'm happy. He earns a round of uh, championship four spot. So then we got two races left, and that's Texas and Phoenix, which I'm reviewing Texas next week. So be sure to turn in for that video. And Chase Hill, he's still on the track. And um, 
he stops in front of Denny Hamlin. And he just, like, pulls up on the side. Gets, they get out of the car. I mean, they didn't punch each other or anything. I mean, they sorted things out. You know, everything was fine. And then, um, you know, and Denny Hamlin, when he was interviewing, um, this was a pretty cool thing he said. It's not the coolest, but I'll just say it anyway. Um, if you, my mom always told me, I mean, all right, let me rephrase that. And quote, quote, unquote, you know, if you don't, my mom always told me, you know, if you got nothing else to say, then, um, uh, don't say anything to the other person. Or I think that's what he said. I don't know. He probably told me to something different, but it was close to it. It was close to it. So, um, so this wasn't part of the race. It was like off air or something. A Chase Elliott fan looks like in his sixties or something goes down and Apparently, he wants to fight Denny Hamlin, but the security comes in gladly. <sighs> I swear. If there's an overreacting per, if there are overreacting people, uh, well, NASCAR or NFL fans are pretty much one of them. So, yeah, guys, this was just my first NASCAR review I've ever done. I will be doing it next year, and I'll be doing it for the rest of the year. So, yeah, guys, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.